Hello there. This is where the fun begins. What's up guys, unofficial Star Wars here. Hope you're all doing well, and in this video we have a new update for the new Jedi Order movie, or the new Rey Skywalker spin-off movie that Lucasfilm had announced last year at Star Wars Celebration. We've been getting a lot of different updates and news on this movie, which is honestly a good thing. It seems like it's really going to get off the ground and actually be released sometime in 2026. Anyway guys, we have a new update about the movie, and of course we're going to go ahead and break it all down for you guys from everything that we're hearing. and every Everything that we're anticipating for right now. Before we do though, however, grab that subscribe button if you haven't already, as we're discussing and covering all types of Star Wars related news, leaks, rumors, theories, and breakdowns here on the channel. So if you guys are into any of that, go ahead and grab that subscribe button today. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be taking a quick read from StarWarsNewsNet.com. I absolutely love their articles and their page. Check them out, linked in the description down below, as well as an overall source for you guys to check out there as well. Daisy Ridley has been making some press rounds this weekend to promote her new movie, Magpie, which just premiered by South by Southwest and is looking for a distributor. Naturally, she's been asked a ton about Star Wars though, however. She'll always be kind of be seen as Rey no matter what. And though we'll be covering most of her quotes in a new piece coming out on Monday, their article reads, I'd highlight a couple of things. I'll cover that new article in a separate feature video here on the channel. It's all the more reason to grab that subscribe button if you haven't already. First, she recently told Collider.com that she hasn't read a script yet. And, well, here we go. This is a bit surprising to us, and will probably put a bed my speculation that she'll be a producer on the project actually but it's not exactly a, a red flag necessarily speaking what kind of makes it more confusing much rather than a bad thing is that while well, she's telling some outlets that she's read the script and assures fans that it's going to be amazing and now you have examples like this of where she's claiming that she hasn't read a script or anything of that nature i think what it really boils down to though however it's just kind of a lack of communication and is following in some lack of communication really it's just kind of uh, falling flat of that and it's making people confused really with that she has an in general knowledge and knows what the story is going to be about this was explained to both the director Charmino Bichinoy as well as Kathleen Kennedy to Daisy Ridley when she officially decided to sign on for the project and to return to a galaxy far far away despite how she was treated throughout the sequels and their run will be bound to treat her much more better I would hope remember if you don't like something you can hate on the characters don't hate on the actors please Though, however, as I had mentioned, getting back to the subject at hand, she hasn't officially read an actual script for what the movie is actually going to be about is because there isn't like an actual set in stone script for the project quite yet. We know that the first couple of drafts were turned in by Stephen Knight, the writer of this movie. He's also the writer of the Peaky Blinders show over on Netflix. So if you guys are a fan of that, well, you're probably going to be a fan of this as well. You should definitely give it a chance. But really, yeah, to clear up any of that kind of confusion of that, well, in, you know, one interview she's saying that she hasn't read a script, and then in another interview is, you know, assuring fans that it's an amazing script and it's going to be an amazing story. It's just a lack of communication. She hasn't read a script, but knows what this in general story is going to be about. So, taking a couple of months back, shooting Martin Campbell's Cleaner movie, promoting Sometimes I Think About Dying, another movie that she was recently in, flying off to Australia to shoot We Bury the Dead, which she had started in February and filming and production on that, and now is getting over to Austin to promote Magpie at this new convention. We assume that she'll be going back to the Southern Heaven Sphere to wrap the former film as well, and then start promoting her next venture, the Disney distributed movie, Young Women and the Sea, which comes out in late May, and which just premiered its first handful of pictures, and it's beginning its marketing and promoting there as well. These past six months have been quite hectic for Daisy Ridley. She has told by Verarity recently that wasn't exactly the case right after wrapping The Rise of Skywalker, of where there were a lot of offers coming in, saying that there weren't that many offers coming in at that time. It's not that there wasn't any. I remember finishing and thinking, oh, it's quiet and strange. That has shifted now. Some of those opportunities that she's made happen herself, while others appeared naturally. But the tides are shifting now, and she'll be making even more money hand over fist on this new Jedi Order film with Disney that given the House of Mouse. 
If a recent Jeff Snyder report is to be believed, plus the actress has shown interest in doing a musical and is hinted at a rom-com as well, what do we have to do to make both of those things happen? We've been hearing from whispers and rumors and different sources that the new Jedi Order movie will go into production by the fall of this year, if not earlier, probably sometime over the summer, we're hoping, or other reports are saying that it will go into production early by next year, by the very latest, for a December 2026 release. Before that, we're going to get Jon Favreau's Mandalorian and Grogu movie that was recently just announced for a May of 2026 release. And Daisy Ridley has also confirmed as much to Collider. Lucasfilm's focus is currently on the Mandalorian and Grogu movie with Jon Favreau, but that doesn't mean that they're putting this on the side and they're just not going to work on it whatsoever. They're going to be doing with whatever they can with it, of course. There's a lot of people that work at Lucasfilm that given, and like just because they're doing one movie doesn't mean that they can't be doing another. We've seen this happen uh, on multiple other occasions with Lucasfilm, both inside and outside of a galaxy far, far away. There have been times when they're working on, for example, maybe an Indiana Jones movie at the same time as a Star Wars movie back in the 80s. I don't actually know that though, but a more recent suggestion would be that they were working on Solo the same time that they are working on The Last Jedi movie. Also from what their article has been saying and has been reporting for a while is that the idea was to start casting this project around March now and that's exactly what they're you know and what they're doing and what we've been hearing it's basically what they're doing according to insider Daniel Richmond and Scooper who posted this week on his Patreon that the film's looking for actors to play Race to Apprentices as well as the villain of the film so going on to cast three new characters for the movie. You notice that they can do this without a finished script though as well, though I expect pre-production to start in a full swing in the coming weeks. I would give it two months around before we get a casting story on The Hollywood Reporter about this movie or any other official confirmations or news. That will probably actually all be held off for Disney's D23 event that's happening a little bit later this year, around August, uh, taking place from the 9th to the 11th of August. That's probably where Disney plans to unveil a ton of new Star Wars news as well as Marvel news as well. Little is actually known about the story itself, but Daisy Ridley did reveal of what not to expect. Children for Rey. Admittedly, the story can change over time, and she did say that she hasn't heard anything about the movie other than what was announced last year. It's an interesting, but kind of a, uh, an oddball, I, I kind of feel, like Rey's just not going to have children. I don't, I don't know, I wasn't really thinking of that idea, but I guess we know that now. I don't buy that for a second, though, is what the article does suggest, and they don't think that she would be remotely allowed to say this unless Ray was definitely not going to have any children. We guess those rumors about her having Finn's kids are not true, oddly enough. And that's enough internet for today, guys. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been an official Star Wars. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. May the Force be with you as always. Peace out.